لمزین می سوزه تو مدینه یکی نمیگه چه بسه ای داریم تو که شب تا سهر واسه مردم تو دعاهات چیزی کم نمیذاریم عوض بالله من الشیطان الرجیم بسم الله الرحمن الرحیم قل هو الله احد الله الصمد لم يلد ولم يولد ولم يكن له كفوا احد السلام عليكم respected brothers and sisters thank you for joining me today on what is the 12th of our weekly farsi courses inshallah this class won't take up too much of your guys' time and i appreciate everyone joining in and being so so eager to learn this beautiful beautiful language also i'd like to give my condolences to the master of martyrs imam hussein salam, as well as the imam of our time and all muslims on the shahadat of bibi sakina the youngest most beloved daughter of imam hussein who was brutally bet and inhumanely treated by the malaun allahumma al'an qatalata hussein wa ashab al hussein wa awlad al hussein O oh Allah, condemn and lay a curse upon the killers of Hussein, السلام, his family and friends. Before I begin, I'd like to quickly share hadith by Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Whosoever follows a path to seek knowledge therein, God will make easy for him a path to paradise. SubhanAllah, we can see from this hadith that just by trying to seek knowledge, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is easing our path toward paradise. Wow. So please, brothers and sisters, take this chance and pay attention to these classes. For surely Allah has sent us all an opportunity and has created a light within our hearts that have given us the desire to go ahead and seek this knowledge. Inshallah, may Allah, may, inshallah, may Allah make this path of learning easy for us and use it in a way to seek nearness and proximity to Him. May He notice all our continuous efforts and reward us for them and keep us on the right path. May we be part of the 313 alongside our beloved Imam. Okay, to start off this week's course, you guys, we're going to have a little refresher from last week's class, just like we do every week, which actually coincidentally was also on the same topic, body parts. I mean, when you talk about the parts of the body, there's many, many, many different parts. You can go from organs, you can go from bones, you can go from parts of the body, this, that. So... Uh, what I thought is that because we had body parts last week, I made a, um, what's it called, a vote still, just to see if you guys wanted to switch up or not. I see most of you guys were also thinking the same thing, I'm guessing, that if you guys already had body parts week one, it's better just have body parts, the rest of them, the week after, following week as the topic is fresh in your guys' minds, and being able to transition from that topic to same topic, uh, to another topic, and then coming back to body parts, it's just going to be a little harder, and there's no need to make it difficult on you guys. So keeping it as is, I thought, would work, and just as you guys thought as well, which body parts edged, body parts part two edged out animals in this week's vote. And hence this week's class will be on that in Farsi. And remember guys, I post quizzes, I think this week we had seven or eight, which getting feedback from you guys, you guys seem to really enjoy that, so I may increase the amount of quizzes in this following week and weeks to come. Keep an eye on that in the group chat. And if you guys have any questions, remember to feel free to reach out to me or any of the crew members personally or in the or in the Farsi group chat. And we'll get back to you as soon as possible, inshallah. With that, let's start our class for the week. And we will be starting with the review on our topic from last week, which is on body parts. Starting off, surat, surat, face, sar, sar, head, dust, dust. Hand or arm, referring to three, like I told you guys before. Another word that could refer for hand or arm would be bazu. Bazu can also refer to hand or arm, even though that word is mainly used for elbow. People, some people still say bazu for hand or arm. The main and more common used word would be dast. Before we have angosht, angosht, finger, gardan, gardan, neck, sine, sine, chest. Just quickly checking out something here, fingers. Okay. Sine, sine, chest, alb, alb, heart. Could be wrong, but I think in um, that word also has the same definition and meaning in other languages as well. Correct me if I'm wrong, you guys. Moving on to number eight, we have 
two words that are fairly, fairly, fairly common in Farsi usage. So I put both of them here for you guys for stomach. We have shekam and del. Both words are very commonly used throughout the world. Shekam, del, shekam, del, stomach. Number nine, we have rune. Rune, thigh, rune. Zanu, zanu, knee, pa, pa, which refers to leg and feet, leg and feet, pa. So we have guzak, guzak, ankle. Chesh, chesh, eye, gush, gush, ear, damok, damok, nose, dahon, dahon, mouth. Hang on to number 17, we have lab, lips, lab. 18, dandon, dandon, teeth. 19, we have mu, mu, which is hair. And moving on to number 20, la last word of last week's course, we have badan, badan, body. I think we only had two phrases this week. Yes, indeed, we only have two phrases. Starting off, we have I have two eyes. Man do chesh daram. Man do chesh daram. I have two eyes. And also, my arm is broken. My arm is broken. That's the man chikaste asked. My arm is broken. That's the man chikaste asked. Quickly run through the words for you guys one more time. Surat, sar, dast, angosht, gardan, sine. Kalb, Shekam, Del, Rumun, Zanu, Pa, Guzak, Chesh, Gush, Damok, Dahan, Lab, Dandan, Mu, Badan. Let's wrap up last week's review with the phrases. Man, do Chesh, Doram, and that's the man, Shikaste. As now wraps up last week's review, allows us to move on to this week's course, which is 12th Farsi class, 2nd of October 2020. Body parts part 2. And let's see, we have 16 words. It's another word heavy vocab list. And I think because of the heaviness and difficulty of the vocabulary, I cut the phrases down into two sentences for you guys. Starting off, we have one Max. Max, brain. Max. We had Sar, which referred to head. Last week, so here I've got a little bit more specific. We have max, which is brain max. Number two, two and three are two more facial features that I wanted to include in last week's class, but there was just would have been too many words for you guys to take in at once. We have abru, abru, first eyebrow, abru. Number three as well, moje, moje, eyelash, moje. So for that letter in the middle here, I'm zooming in on it, the je sound between the meme and the ha that word doesn't really have like a english typing way of to write it out for example in transliteration it's really pay attention to the way i pronounce this word you guys moje moje it's a really weird i think this word is uh, this letter actually is not in arabic for example it's only farsi word farsi letter in the farsi vocabulary being i think the only letter that's different between the two alphabets it could be wrong but i'm pretty sure that's true and so listen to that pronunciation guys because it's not moze it's not moje it's moje moje you guys can also practice when i send out the audio for the notes as well in the upcoming days moving on to number four we have jigar jigar which first liver here are i think we transitioned to a few organs over here number four jigar Liver, jigar. Five, kolie, kolie, kidney, kolie. Six, we have shish, shesh, shesh, lung, shesh. And number seven, we have khun, khun, blood, khun. Thought as it's related to the body, I'd include this word in here for you guys as well. Khun, blood, khun. Moving on to number eight, we have pust, pust, which refers to skin, pust. If you want to say, for example, the skin on your leg, you would say puste pa. If you want to say the skin on your hand, you would say puste dast. Puste referring to skin, dast referring to our hand, puste dast. Moving on to number nine, we have rag. Rag referring to vein, rag. Number ten, we have dande. Dande, rib, dande. Eleven, we have much. Much, wrist, much. Usually, you can refer to wrist as much by itself some people to clarify they say much at dast as das refers to arm and then much first the wrist much at dast wrist no much works as well wrist 
Number 12, we have this another word that I was wanting to include last week with the facial features, but just would have been too much. Zabon. Zabon. Tongue. Zabon. 13, mahi che. Mahi che. Muscle. Mahi che. It's a good word to memorize. 13, 14 are good words to keep in mind. 14, we have ostakhun. Ostakhun. Bone. Ostakhun. Moving on to number 15, we have rabat. Rabot, ligament, rabot. And our last word for the week, number 16, referring to a toes, angushed on a paw. If you guys remember, fingers was angushed and paw was leg. Putting two together to make um, toes, angushed on referring to finger, paw referring to leg. Fingers on leg, which probably everyone calls toes. More than likely, you're taught for them to be toes, angushed on a paw, referring to toes. Moving on to our Two statements of the week, statements, phrases. You have very nice eyebrows. You guys notice here that I put this in parentheses again. You have very nice, could refer to you have very nice, you have very nice eyebrows, eyelashes, you have very nice wrists, you have very nice toes, stuff like that, for example. Or you guys can take the vocab from last week as these are literally, it's literally the same topic. It's just the part two to last week's course. Put those words in, practice your Farsi, practice the usage. And if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask me, and I'll be more than willing to help you guys. You have very nice eyebrows. You have very nice eyebrows. My kidneys are hurting. Let's break these down for you guys. Number one, we have Abruhaye Khili Khubi Dari. Abruhaye refers to eyebrows. Khili Khubi refers to very nice, dari refers to you have. So it's basically backwards here. Abruhaye, eyebrows, khili khubi, very nice, dari, you have. Abruhaye, khili khubi, dari, you have very nice eyebrows. Moving on to the next one, my kidneys are hurting. Kolye hayam dard mi konad. Kolye refers to kidneys, hayam refers to like the possessive as for my kidneys. Dard mi konad refers to are hurting. Dard refers to Hurt, hurting, and then mikunan makes it like are hurting. Basically, dar the word dar by itself refers to hurts, but when you use it in this usage, dar mikunan, dar would be hurting, and then dar mikunan all in one would mean are hurting. Here would be kolie hayam dar mikunan. My kidneys are hurting. Let's go run through the words one more time for you guys. Starting off, max, abru, moje, jigar, kolie, shesh. Khun, pust, rag, dende, much, or much dust, zaban, mahiche, muscle, ostakhan, ostakhun, either one works, bone, rabat, ligament, and the last one to wrap up our we words for the week, angushtanepa, and our last two phrases, abru haye khili khubidari, you have very nice eyebrows, and kolye hayam dard mi konad. My kidneys are hurting. This is a relatively small, uh, shorter class, which I know some of you guys will enjoy as we're busy. I know we're busy. I know we're busy. We're mid school, we're mid courses. Some of us have exams. For the older people, so we're working, we come home, we may not have enough time. So it's just a shorter course for you guys. Just quickly watch, gain from. And if you have any questions, you just come back and ask me. That wraps up our course for the week, you guys. Uh, thank you all for joining in. Just a few announcements I have to make. Um, if you stick with us, we're still working on it. We're still working on it, seeing as some of us uh, from the crew trying to find a way to fit in our schedules, work it all together to get back to you guys in terms of live classes. Uh, as for anything else... Keep an eye on that group chat. Keep looking, keep looking, keep looking. New stuff will pop up. Because I had very, very heavy material this week and last week, for example, in terms of body parts, it's something major. Uh, and both of them having pretty good vocab and pretty difficult vocab. It's some important stuff to remember for those of you who are actually trying to pursue learning Farsi and actually have a passion for taking away and gaining from the language. Um, I might be putting out more, more than the usual four uh four quizzes a day whenever i release the quizzes it might be a little bit more around time may just keep posting keep posting that group chat there may be more quizzes for you guys this week and i've said it once said it twice we'll keep repeating if you guys have any any 
any questions, feel free to message me personally. Message the group chat. Message one of the crew members to ask me. We, we want it. We're asking you guys for it. And we'll do our best, our best to get back to you guys as soon as possible. And with that, looking very, very, very forward to next week's course. Thank you all for tuning in. For those who couldn't tune in, the course will be posted on YouTube on Friday Night Circle YouTube channel. And the link will be passed around in the group chat within um, a few hours, a few, I don't even know, I think a few minutes after the release of the live premiere. And that, looking forward to seeing you guys next week. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.